Welcome back to your D122 W1 to our EX2 Colorize masks and we're going to be using channels I guess not really masks we're going to be using channels in this next part of our exercise so you did some practice with the black and white kid and the colorizing is going to be just like you did it in that one except now we're going to do something that's going to help us paint I guess intricate little areas so I'll show you how to do this and we've done something like this last semester but in computer graphics one so let's see how this works we're gonna go into colorized mass photopia same place you went and this time we're gonna get the bridge image there's the one I turned in and I'm gonna look for the bridge image and it's right here now again you can download this or you can click on it and then open it up in photopia so or photo P so I'm gonna right click and copy image and I'm told on a Chromebook if you use two fingers you'll get this uh, menu here if you're having any issue on a Chromebook. But I'm going to copy image from this, and you've seen this before. We've worked with this bridge before, not this exact view of it. It's the other side of the bridge I think we used on the one when we took away the power lines and poles and things like that. Same bridge. But we're going to colorize it so you know what it looks like. You know it's red and stone, grass is green, sky's blue, <laughs> the trees are green and stuff like that. Water's a little brownish sometimes. And we copied it, so we're going to go to Photo P. And there's photo P and then if I just make a new project it'll actually show the same size of what I just copied it's showing like 3600 2700 so it's a fairly big image and it's 72 we're working in 72 pixels per inch right now and I'm just gonna create and I'm gonna paste it and there it is and nothing else to do right now now it became its own layer and I'll just call it bridge Again, colorizing, this would be red, the stop sign would be red, the inside would be kind of an off-white, the stone work would be kind of beige-ish, you know, I guess grass would be green, trees would be green, <laughs> you know, it's not that hard. But what's hard is trying to paint the sky and paint the trees where this is green and that meets the blue. So that's what we're going to focus on in this. The other stuff you could probably figure out on your own. But do it the same way. Make layers for grass, make layers for stone, make layers for the siding and make layers for the inside of bridge so you could do all that I'll even do that right now I'll make a layer for grass I'll make a layer for stone and stone would probably be this stone and also the stone under the bridge you could make a layer for inside of bridge you could make a layer for red siding or the red wood that's on it and so on and then we're going to have sky and we'll do the trees and maybe this bush over here. But what you want to do first is save it down so you can work on it off of your computer. So I'll go over here and let me extend this a little bit. It's kind of off my screen a little. I might as well use as much of the screen as I can. And remember, you could double click on this and give it a name, but we still have to save it anyway. So if you like giving it a name when you save it, or if you want to give it a name now, I'll call it to colorize bridge. And I don't care if you have spaces in there or whatever you put in there. And then you could put your last name, first initial. So I'll do that. And don't worry about PSD until you save it. So now when you want to save it to your computer, you could do save as PSD. I guess I'll save it in here. I'm not sure if I have the same name somewhere in here, but to Colorize Bridge. This is stuff from, I think, 2022. So I have it in the same folder. So if you make a folder for it, that's fine. So I'm going to save it in there. Or if you do it from your downloads, that's fine, as long as you don't lose it. So a couple things I want to point out here, just to review from the first one. If you're going to do grass, just like you did grass on the other exercise, remember the process? You target this layer, and you change it to color. And then you go up to layer, layer style, and you go to color overlay, and you want to choose like a green color so I'll go in here and choose like a dark green color and I'll hit OK and make sure this blend mode is also set to color just like the layer is and then you're gonna be painting with what color blue no you're gonna be painting with black so click on this make sure it's black and white down here so that's how you'd be working on grass so when it's time to work on grass whenever you want to do that if you want to start working on it I'll make my brush nice and big now it's hard to see here I'll, I'll go up here in the sky and I'll make my brush nice and big I'm using my right bracket and then I'll go down here and I'll just paint some grass now I'm not sure if that's the right color or if I want to make it a little less opaque or whatever there's some bushes in there I'll, I'll zoom in and do them later but I'll kinda of go in here and get most of the grass done let me zoom in a little 
and I won't worry about doing this that well. Remember, a straight line, you could hold shift and kind of go across here. And it looks like I got some into the stone area, so I could take that out. But just doing this like this, just kind of real rough in here. I'll hold shift, click, and kind of do that area there. So that's the grass. So grass didn't take me long. Some bushes here, stuff like that. I'll fix that a little bit later. And again, you could probably use a softer brush. You can make your brush real soft up here where it's hardness. It was real sharp right now, but you can make it real soft if you want to go in here uh, where it's kind of going over some of that. You could even sometimes change the opacity so uh, you could see through it a little bit. And I'm not going to worry about that right now, but I'll use a kind of a soft brush up here. So, And again, if you don't like the color, the beauty of this is that you could go into the effects the arrow over here and go into color overlay and you can try to make it a little darker see if that works okay and move this out of the way here let me hit okay and it doesn't really affect it's still a little light so and again it's using the lightness of the grass itself so what you may want to do if I go back into color overlay you might just want to turn down the opacity a little bit and make it a little less intense and again, once you get other colors in there, it'll start to look better. So if you use an off-white for the stone and so on. But anyway, before I worry about all that kind of cool stuff, that's fun to do and it's easy to do once you get this down. But what we are going to do here, I'm going to hold down my space bar. And if you're ever zoomed in, you need to move. Hold your space bar. What we want to do is be able to paint the sky and, and then be able to paint these trees here. Now what we'll do is we'll try to select them so we don't have to go in there real tight and do all that in between all the red and in between all the blue because this would be kind of red siding we'll do here. So this stuff over here we're going to try and uh, get a selection of it. Now you might say well what am I going to do? Use a lasso and go around all of it? No. Uh, what you could do is actually use one of the channels and I'll show you this. If you go into channels you'll see your RGB channels. There's my red, there's my green, there's my blue. They're all pretty similar in here. We're going to duplicate a channel and then we're going to use that and kind of get rid of some of the other stuff here and I'll show you what to do. So we're going to have a channel so that it selects just the leaf stuff and then you could just flip it around so that it covers the leaf stuff and you just do the sky. So let's do that. So let's go down here on this blue channel down here and what we'll do is duplicate it. Now Typically on Photoshop, you can right click and get duplicate. Now it's not showing it here. So there's some differences you'll see with Photoshop and Photo P. But what you can do just like Photoshop is, is if you drag this to the new channel, this is a new channel right here because we're in channels. We're not in layers, we're in channels. If you drag this down to here, it'll duplicate it. So I'm gonna drag this down here and it'll say like blue copy, I think. Or no, it won't, it'll just call it alpha. Now one thing to keep in mind, that when it did that, it actually has everything selected here. So just do Command D, deselect, because remember, deselect Command D, deselect everything here. I'll do Command D. And you might say, well, it's all black, what's going on? Well, click on the channel now. Now go back on the channel. So this is my Alpha 1. And what I'm going to do is call it Tree Reveal. So we're going to reveal the tree. So when you want to paint the tree, you'll call it Tree Reveal. And we'll do that first, and I'll hit enter. So I just called that tree reveal. And then we're going to load it as a selection, and it'll almost make like a, almost like a stencil so that we could paint that stuff. And we're going to use that. Now, if we just look at this right now, it's not helpful because there's a lot of gray in there, and we want it black and white. So when we want a selection black and white, we don't want to see some of this through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get rid of some of this stuff, and we're going to really crank up the contrast with levels. So let's do that first. Again, we're on the channel, and we're going to crank it up at levels. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and we're going to try to make the sky white. And let's move this over here, and I'll take this over so that the sky gets nice and white. Now, normally I say don't use so much, but we want this nice and white, and I could even make it more contrasty. So by bringing in either end here, we're getting it nice and contrasty you know, so that this is white. So I'm not worried about the bridge, anything. I'm only worried about the trees. And I'm even going to lighten up some of the midtones here, but I'll bring this in so it's a little more contrasty up here. And I'll hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in 
and get rid of some of this stuff so we have a lot of room around here now some of this we are going to have to work on so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to work in white so I have to go down here and flip this and I'm going to paint white now I have a big brush right now now make sure it's not too soft I don't want it completely hard but I'll make it a little bit softer um, like 80 90 something like that and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint now I'm just what I'm trying to do here is just kind of create a nice kind of area around the tree and getting rid of all this stuff as much of this as I can now I may have to go in with a smaller brush and get rid of some of those kind of lines that are in there but I'm just kind of surrounding the tree right now and I don't have to worry about it that closely because we'll, we'll get rid of it but I'll go in here and I'm just kind of painting with white and I'll zoom in a little bit more and then I'll make my brush smaller remember if you use your left bracket you could go in here and make it smaller now I could just kind of click in here and it, even if you leave a little in here it's not going to be a big deal I'll make my brush even smaller to get rid of some of that now I'm going to undo that because I made it too much so I'll get a smaller brush in here and just kind of paint away some of these lines that are in here and then I'll make my brush bigger here and get rid of these and again it doesn't have to be perfect because you know even if those lines are there a little bit you won't see much of it but I'll try to do it as good as I can there's kind of a line there there's kind of a line there there's some more of the pole up here let me check the sky get rid of anything I can in the sky over here and I'm just focused on being around the tree and then I'll even do this bush too I know this is more work but I could even go here and do this bush although it's not really in the sky but I'm gonna kinda of go around I'll even zoom in here and go over to bush and see how much I can do over here I'll use kind of a smaller brush and just kinda of get into some of these places over here and I don't have to get real tight because you're not going to notice it as much in there. Let me see where the, I'm trying to figure out where this bush ends. Looks like kind of darker there, so I'm going to kind of go around that. And you could get in with a smaller brush a little bit. You could even use like a semi opaque brush, but just a little bit in there should be fine. I'll make my brush bigger. Let me make it bigger out here where I can see it, and then I'll get in there and just get rid of some of that. Now, some of that's going to be by the water, you won't even notice it. So. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Make my brush bigger again. And I'll go over here. Make my brush small. Just click in there. That's probably good enough. So that's good enough. So this is what I want. I want this black kind of tree thing and I want everything else white. Now how, how do I make everything else white? Do I have to paint everything? No, you don't have to paint everything. Now remember, I'm still on the channel. I'm just gonna draw a big selection with my rectangular marquee or my rectangle select and then I'll just fill it with white and you could use the shortcut Alt Delete or Option Delete and it's the same thing as going Edit Fill. If you go Edit Fill, it's a foreground fill. So if you go Option Delete, or alt delete if you're on windows you could do that so i'm just going to do that foreground is the white right now so make sure that's the same and i'll hit okay and it fills out with white and then i'll do command d to get rid of the selection and i'll go back with my paintbrush again and i'll make it nice and big i'll use my right bracket and just kind of go over this stuff here so that's what i'm left with and if you want to do a file save and just save what you did now this is my tree reveal now remember white reveals and black hides well how is that tree reveal well it's not and what we're going to do is we're going to invert it so we're going to make it actually I have a little more white down here we're going to invert it so that the tree stuff is white and everything else is black and then we could just paint the tree like that and it's called tree reveal let's just invert it how do you invert it you go to image adjustments invert and again we're still on the channel there it is so now that's black everything else is black and the tree stuff is white that's tree reveal and we're also going to do a sky reveal because we want to be able to paint the sky and not get the tree now we could just flip it around when we do it and just invert it when we do it you could do that if that's less confusing or you could make another channel down here you could take this one and drop it right on top of this new 
channel icon and then do command D and it becomes alpha 2 and you could call that sky reveal and then this one you can invert so it reveals the sky and hides the trees so I'll go to image adjustments invert and their sky reveal and then I'll show you what to do when we start painting on this so I think I'm gonna take a break here so we could just kinda of do this uh, do it fresh in the next video so right now if you did this if you have a channel called tree reveal and it looks like this and if you have a channel called sky reveal and it looks like that you're in good shape now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the sky and paint the trees and we're gonna activate these and we're gonna activate them as a selection and basically we can paint the sky and it'll hide the trees and then we'll paint the trees and it'll hide the sky and it'll be easy to do that and that's a great technique not just with trees and sky but also with hair if anybody who has frizzy hair or anything like that it's a great way to make selections around things that are really hard to select so not only are we colorizing but we're learning how to select using some advanced techniques like customizing channels and using channels that we could load and I'll tell you a couple things about Photoshop because they don't have an option to load selection in Photoshop you go select and they have a thing called load selection and they don't have it here but I'll show you how to do it. So we'll do that in part three. So part three will be continuing this and we'll finish it up and I don't know how much of the colorization I'll do but we'll work on this part in part three coming up.